Hello everyone, this is Jaroslav from Body Harmonics. Uh, in this video I would like to show you uh, the effect of Trent Willenberg gate on uh, gate cycle or running cycle. Uh, one of my clients has been suffering with, uh, from this uh, faulty dysfunctional gate pattern and uh, it happens that actually one of these hips goes to the side um, he's got a more complex issue because one of his or uh, both of his knees actually go in into knee valgus uh, pattern and also he has overpronation in the ankles um, he is an active sports person and plays, um, plays basketball and also does a lot of gym workout um, and uh, he um, would have knee issues, hip issues and with our uh, approach here in Body Harmonics, we were able to help him with this uh, faulty gait pattern. And uh, you can see for yourself our results before and after results. These drawings represent a conformation of bones. Uh, they join um, anatomical landmarks I have made on the uh, subject's body. And on the left side, the column on the left side you can see before intervention, the column on the right side you can see after intervention. Uh, the left side column has the angles much sharper um, as you can see. So when the subject is running we can see that his knee, in this case left knee, goes in and the left hip goes out to the left. Right hip drops down and it all compromises the whole the whole structure. Um, so um, the forces within the joints uh, increase exponentially. The pressure on the tibial plateau changes uh, so much. So these his menisci are under so much pressure, especially the medial meniscus, but also his ligaments in his knee, the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments, especially the anterior cruciate ligaments in this case will really suffer. What's more, the hip drop on the right side will cause some terrible pressure on his lumbar spine and um, will cause a degeneration eventually in there. If you like this video please hit the like button and um, uh, if you have any questions you can shoot them under into comments. <laughs>